and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm just going to be doing a winter makeup tutorial so stick around and I'll just jump straight into it for you. So what I'm going to start off with is this Hydra Laurent Moisture Jelly for my moisturizer and it's not like a normal moisturizer it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that it actually just makes your, your skin feel really fresh which is good. So pump some of that. Next I'm going to use some of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer um, just to prime my skin ready for my foundation. And the good thing about this primer is that it really does fill in the pores. And another thing that I have been doing a lot lately is I have been using my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz which sets makeup for all they wear. I'm not going to do it over the top of my makeup, I'm going to do it under my makeup so it can sort of prepare my skin a little bit more. Um, I've been doing this for a little while now and I'm finding that it is helping my makeup last a lot longer. It's amazing. And then I just like to lightly sort of rub that into my skin as well. Because I still have my tan on my skin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my darker shade of my L'Oreal Paris True Match. I've got two, I normally have a pale one for when I'm not tanning and then I have one for when I am slightly darker. Um, please excuse the lid, it is very dirty. But yes, this is my L'Oreal True Match foundation that I like to use. It is in the shade Golden Natural, so D4W4. Now I don't have a lot of this left, which is sad because then I have to go and get another bottle, but it is my MAC Pro Long Concealer. Um, I'm going to be using that under my eyes and on my forehead, my chin and down my nose just to brighten up the areas that I really want to brighten up. And the reason why I like to put concealer down the length of my nose is because it makes it look straighter than what it actually is. It sort of ties in really well when you're wanting to do your contouring because when you do your contouring you're highlighting the lines on your on your nose or on your face wherever you want it to be so you can actually make your face look more symmetrical than what it actually is if that's what you're aiming to do you can do it. Next I'm going to set the outside of my face with a darker pressed powder. It is actually a pressed powder foundation I think so you can just use this with a primer or you can use it in my opinion over the top of your normal foundation because I find that it doesn't get too cakey um, and it is the Australis pressed powder and this one in, is in darkest brown. Next I'm just going to be using my Face of Australia press powder in ivory and I'm going to be using that on the lighter areas of my face where I was trying to highlight. For my eyebrows I'm going to be using my Anastasia brow powder in medium brown. Um, I purchased this from Hair House Warehouse in Australia so just FYI you can buy some Anastasia products now. You get a choice of two colours, sorry it's a bit dirty. I prefer to use the darker shade and then if I need to fill in other areas of my eyebrows I will use the lighter shade. And if you hear a little bell jingling every now and then that is because Myla is here with me. Hi! What is this place? What are we doing? So she's just going to chill out in the back over there. You'll probably see it when I zoom out. <laughs> I'm just going to be using the brush that came with the set, so I'm going to be using the angled brush. Take me away from home. Show me all the I have been using a Rimmel eyebrow pencil for a little while now, and it is the professional eyebrow pencil by Rimmel London, and it is in the colour brown. Oh, hazel. It's in the colour hazel. Race all of these broken dreams and flight. Okay, so this is probably going to seem really weird and strange for some people, but I have also been using my AC on Tour Australis contouring and highlighter kit for my eyebrows. I am going to just be using this middle shade here. What I really 
like to do when I am doing my eyebrows is I like to highlight them a little bit more. So I get the concealer that I used earlier. Um, ah, damn it. These pumps are so bad because you want to pump a little bit and it pumps like all of it and it's like ugh. So just using a little flat brush like so. Damn it, it was not filming. Anyway, I am up to a stage right now where I am doing my eyeshadows. And so far I have just put a little bit of a shimmer shade eye primer on, which is the Face of Australia one, and I just buffed that into my eyelids. Then I started using my fake Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, which is Urban Dreams. And I was using this light brown shade just here. Um, in the outer corners and I'm just now building it up with this darker one um, which is also a bit shimmery. Now I'm going to be using my Chi Chi Rich Gems eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using just this darker red shade just there. Up here we're free Bounce only by frozen because I like the way the eyeshadow primer is just sitting on my inner corners, I'm just going to leave that as is. I am now going to get my concealer again and just pump a little bit this time. There we go. I swear I pumped so much the last time, it's so annoying. And then from here I'm just going to basically clean up the under part of my eyeshadow on each side. Okay, so now I've got my eyes where I like them to be. I'm just going to fan out with a big fluffy brush just a little bit more. Tone it down just a little bit because at the moment it looks quite harsh. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow. I'm going to jump straight into my eyeliner and I'm not going to talk during this part. You can just watch this one. <laughs> Okay, so I have to finish this video very quickly because I know that my card's going to get full. I'm going to be doing a white eyeliner on my waterline because I find that it just opens up my eyes a lot more. For my eye... <laughs> for my eye mascara. For my mascara, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Scandalize Extreme. Save me. To finish up this look, I'm going to be doing my contouring on my face, so I'm going to use that shade for my contouring, then I'm going to do my blush and my lips. I'm just going to use my Rimmel London Apocalypse Lip Colour and it is in the shade Nova, so 102. And that is it. Let me just quickly do my hair. And this is the finished look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. I know on Instagram is the same way that it's spelled here, Rianne Autumn. And I shall see you guys next week. Bye guys!